Shalom. Today I'd like to show you a Bible code without actually revealing the access term. I have never done a Bible code this way before. This time it will involve your participation. Proverbs chapter 25 verse 2 tells us, It is the glory of God to conceal a matter, but the glory of kings is to search out a matter. Yahusha, Jesus, once asked his disciples, Who do you say that I am? The Apostle Peter answered correctly, saying, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God, and the living God is Yahuwah. Twice in this table we have Yahusha in the plain text of Scripture, and we have Yahuwah going a vertical skip of one, and it's overlapping and going both ways, up and down. That's the question we're going to be asking in this presentation. Who do you say that I am? This Bible code is about a person who is alive today. I'm not revealing his name just yet. I want you to guess the possible identity of this man. You can put your best guess in the comment section below if you want. The answer will be revealed in three days, and at that time, I will also reveal other relevant terms in this Bible code. Okay, here we go. I split this Bible code into two sections and am presenting it this way so that I can zoom in more clearly on the words in this table. When I present the completed table in three days, it will be shown in its original form. I will now go on to describe this person using the terms in this annotated table. The person in this table is fairly well known or famous and gives fatherly advice to millions through his lectures and writings. Each of these words will be highlighted as I show them to you in the table. There's famous, fatherly, advisor, to lecture or to speak, and writing. He is a man of great intelligence and understanding, and has dealt with all kinds of people with various personalities. He recommends that people listen to their inner man, their conscience, and be responsible for their own actions. We have intelligence here, understanding or discerning, personalities, and conscience. He is qualified to diagnose people at a clinical and expert level. Diagnose is here, and diagnosis is here as well, using four of the same letters. And diagnosis is down here. And expert or understanding, we looked at before. This Hebrew word has many meanings. One of his favorite teaching methods is using allegories to convey his common sense and practical ideas for living. Allegorize is here. His teachings have been a blessing to many and have helped hurting people to live more meaningful and rewarding lives. Blessings. Helped. He has an agreeable and pleasant personality and a good sense of humor, yet he can be bold and brave when speaking the truth. Agreeable is here twice, here and here. Humor, bold, brave. It can also mean protagonist, valiant, and hero. And the truth is here. It goes along the bottom of the table. It's like it's undergirding everything that's said in the table above. This man has a general respect for people and is very polite when conversing with others. His faith allows him to be spiritually discerning and his conclusions on matters are more often than not correct. Here is politeness. Faith, 
discerning or understanding, and correct. After hearing all of these descriptions about this person, who do you think it might be? I'm sure it could apply to many people in the world, but this Bible Code table is about one person in particular. Stay tuned for our next presentation when we will reveal who the man is in this Bible Code table. And that concludes our presentation for today. Thanks for watching. Shalom.